Hello and welcome to the Midship Section Modulus Calculator developed by the NavalArc.com. This application can be used to calculate the section modulus of the midship section of any vessel which comprises of longitudinal strength members like plates, stiffeners, and girders. The section modulus of the midship section is required to calculate the longitudinal strength of the vessel in any particular loading condition. Let's see how this calculator works. On the top we can see there is a main menu of the calculator, which has different options like starting a new calculation, editing the basic info, saving it as PDF report, printing a report, and the help button as well. To start a new calculation, we just need to click start a new calculation and input the basic info like the name of the vessel and the length, breadth, depth molded, and the height of the highest point of the midship section from the baseline. The midship section comprises of longitudinal strength members like the plates, stiffeners, and girders. To calculate the total section modulus, the contribution of each of these members has to be calculated. We have to input one by one, each of these longitudinal strength members in the calculator, and it will calculate the final section modulus of all these members together which comprise the midship section. Let's say we want to start with the bottom plate. We can see at the bottom of the spreadsheet is this table, in which different options are there. Let's say to enter a particular plate we just go to category, select plate and then we select location. Let's say we select the keel. We need to input an item name for this, say KP1, and we need to input the VCG from the baseline of the vessel, say it's 0.01. All these cells highlighted in blue are the input cells which the user needs to provide. For the girth, let's say we input 2000 and thickness as 20. We need to input the orientation of the plate whether it is horizontal, vertical, or inclined. Let's say it is horizontal. Then the inclination angle with horizontal becomes zero. Next is the column of stiffener properties which is not applicable here because it's a plate. The section area and the self-moment of inertia of the plate have been calculated by the calculator and input here. Now we need to input the quantity of this. For quantity, if the item has port and starboard symmetry, then we enter it as twice the number. Let's say there's one keel plate on each port and starboard, and both are symmetrical. So we enter the number as 2. We can see that the rest of the calculations have been done, the total area, the first moment of area, second moment of area, the total moment of inertia of self, and the total moment of inertia has been calculated for this particular item. Let's say if we want to enter a stiffener, so we select stiffener. We can see that the blue highlighted cells are shown as inputs. If there are a number of stiffeners which are at the same VCG level with the same properties, we can just enter them together as a group called bottom longitudinals. Say the VCG is 0.05. Next are the plate properties which are not applicable as this item is a stiffener. We go to stiffener properties for stiffeners, and we can see there are two options, if the stiffener properties are available then we click available, and in that case we need to enter the section area, the self moment of inertia of the stiffener and the quantity. If the stiffener properties are not available then we can calculate them by using the calculate button, and it leads us to a new spreadsheet in which we have a calculator for calculating the stiffener properties. Let's say if it is an L section and the web height is 150, the web thickness is 10, flange width is 100 and flange thickness is 10. This figure shows the stiffener orientation with respect to baseline and these are the angles. Let's say if it is 180 degrees and we just click calculate. And it has calculated some values. We can use these values in our spreadsheet. Now let's say there are 10 bottom longitudinals on the port side and 10 on the starboard side, and the port and the starboard longitudinals are symmetrical. So we enter the quantity as 20. We can see all the other cells have been calculated. As we are entering the properties of these different members, we can see that the section modulus of the section is being dynamically calculated, the area of the midship section, 
the total moment of inertia, the neutral axis height from the baseline, and the section modulus at bottom and section modulus at deck, all these are being dynamically calculated. Once we are done with the inputs for all the longitudinal members for this section, the final section modulus will be shown and displayed here. Let's see a sample calculation. This is a sample calculation which is done for an actual vessel, in which all the different members have been input, and the final value of the section modulus at bottom and at deck has been displayed here. This is very useful in calculating the actual longitudinal strength of the vessel, and this is a very basic and critical calculation for any ship design process. Let's see the other options in the menu. Edit basic info will just let the user edit the principal particulars. Save as PDF report will ask for the location where you want to save the PDF and if we just click save, the file will be saved with a message, PDF file has been created. Similarly we can go to print report if we want to print. Then we have a help file in which how to use this particular calculator has been presented to the user. That was about the midship section modulus calculator developed by the NavalArc.com. To download the product please visit the website and please give us your valuable feedback. Thank you very much.